Hello again, awesome peeps. Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews, and today we are reviewing the Van Powers Manaday front suspension fat tire electric bike. This thing is shockingly powerful. It's got a 750 watt motor, but it feels like it's a lot more powerful than that. And this thing is geared for off-road use. So with that, let's dive into the specs. The Van Powers Manaday is an unusually powerful fat tire electric bike with a component layout that's just begging for off-road use. This e-bike has frame bosses all over the place, making this an ideal ride for anyone wanting to upgrade with a rear rack, trailer, and other accessories. If you're seeking adventure off the beaten path, this might be the ride for you. The Manaday has a starting price of $1,999 USD and includes free shipping, a 30-day return policy, and a limited two-year warranty. Not bad. So let's take a look under the hood, so to speak. The Van Powers Manaday is outfitted with a buffeting 750 watt rear hub motor that churns out a healthy 85 newton meters of torque. The peak wattage on buffeting motors is just nutty and whenever you hit the gas on the Manaday, the bike just lurches forward. The rated peak wattage is around 1250 for these motors, but the wattage meter on the display just jumps right up to 999, which I guess is as high as it goes apparently. So. Van Power's official specs for the Manaday show it has a top speed of 28 miles per hour, but the bike we received for review was electronically capped at 24.5 miles per hour. That's as high as it would go in the settings, but it definitely felt like the motor had more oomph left in it when it suddenly cut out at that 24.5 mile per hour mark. But look, either way, the top speed can be reached using the cadence sensing pedal assist or Maybe the throttle? <laughs> Again, here, the unit we received for review didn't come with a throttle, but some of the images on the Van Powers website does show it with a throttle, so it's possible that we're working with a demo Manaday here. I hope the Manadays do ship with a throttle because that does help to precisely control what speed you want to go. Because when using the cadence sensing pedal assist, each of the five different levels basically carries you along at their corresponding top speed. So when you're in pedal assist level one, the Manaday clips along at a leisurely 10 miles per hour. In level two, it's 14 miles per hour. Level three is 19 miles per hour. Level four is 22.5 and level five unlocks that big old 750 watt motor to zip around up to 24.5 miles per hour. Again, or maybe it's 28 miles per hour, who knows? All right, let's take a look at the battery. The Manaday's locking and removable 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery is nicely nestled into a recess in the down tube. It's such a smooth fit that if it wasn't for the contrasting colors, you'd hardly be able to see it. Van Powers did a really good job here. This battery uses LG cells and offers a max estimated range of 70 miles in ideal conditions. But look, this estimate does feel a little bit high, even in pedal assist level one, and I think the real world range is going to be around half of that, which is still a whole lot of miles. Van Powers did a great job with the Manaday's frame. This electric bike weighs in at around 77 pounds and has a max payload capacity of nearly 265 pounds. But what I love here is that Van Powers thought ahead with the frame bosses. There's four bosses on the top of the seat stays for the optional rear rack, and then there's a total of four more bosses on the sides of the seat stays and one last one on the seat stay bridge. This means that if you want to tow a trailer for hunting or just hauling extra gear, you absolutely can do that. I like that the swooping top tube lowers the standover height by a few inches because this makes straddling the frame when at a stop much easier. I also appreciate that the saddle drops all the way to the seat post binder, and this may seem like a small feature, but when you want to drop the saddle for some more aggressive riding, every inch makes a difference. At the front of the frame, we've got unbranded spring suspension forks with approximately 80 millimeters of travel, and between these shocks and the monstrous Kenda Juggernaut 26 inch by four inch fat tires, the Manaday is ready for some moderate trail riding. I really dig that Van Powers opted for mechanical disc brakes with oversized 203 millimeter rotors in both the front and rear wheels. But look, if I'm being picky, which I guess is kind of my job here, I'd say it would be awesome if the Manaday had hydraulic brakes. 
The extra stopping power combined with the oversized rotors would be just fantastic and it would really come in handy when dealing with muddy trails. To switch gears, we've got an 8-speed Shimano Acera derailleur paired with trigger shifters, which is wonderful. This is another one of the components on the Mana Day that makes it feel like it's a machine purpose-built for going off the beaten path. When you're tackling technical terrain, it's hard to beat the ease of trigger shifters. The single-sided aluminum bash guard will help prevent damage to the front chainring should you come crashing down onto a log or a big rock or boulder, and it'll also help prevent chain derailments toward the outside of the chainring, which is awesome. The Mana Day has an integrated headlight that's bright enough to increase visibility, but it's not so bright that it's going to illuminate a dark trail on a moonless night. Oof, that sounds spooky. The Mana Day we received for review also had an integrated taillight at the back of the rear rack, which was actually brighter than expected. The flat handlebars with flat locking grips also speak to the Mana Day's off-road vibe. This setup offers a great deal of control. On the left side of the handlebars, we've got the independent button pad and the throttle, maybe, and on the right side, we've got the trigger shifters. In the middle of the handlebars rests the grayscale LCD display that is perfectly visible even in the most glinting of sunlight. Overall, the Van Powers Mana Day is well suited for those looking for some adventure. The powerful 750 Bafang hub motor, monstrous tires, suspension, oversized brakes, and myriad mounting points means this e-bike is just waiting to have some fun. And at $19.99, it's a pretty good deal too. And with that, let's go take the Van Powers Mana Day out for a ride. <laughs> My friends, that is it for the review of the Van Powers Mana Day front suspension fat tire electric bike. Again, I hope you guys are having just a really good day wherever you're at. And like always, if you could take a moment to like, comment, and sub to Electrify Reviews, that would be fantastic. It would help the channel and it would mean a lot to us here. So thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day and catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>